If I wanted you to know that, would I be wearing a mask? Hey guys, what's going on? The Eric Barber here. Welcome to another video of mine featuring the 2003 animated Teen Titans series focused on the character Red X, where we're going to be going over the complete history of one of the most famous and original characters to have appeared on the show. With that being said, welcome to the complete history of Red X. The Red X costume first appears in Season 1, Episode 9 of the show titled Masks. The episode starts with the team trying to get to the bottom of who Slade is, only to get no closer to where they were from the start, leading to Robin's fury. Robin begins to cut off the team to focus on the pursuit of Slade and to find out his plans. The Red X suit makes its first appearance shortly after, seemingly teleporting in and out with a chip that Slade desires. Red X then battles the team minus Robin. X is seen projecting giant red X's from his hands that immobilize his foes, and specifically targeting the weak points of each titan, defeating them and quickly teleporting away. Red X then proposes a partnership with Slade, which Slade has some apprehension towards. A new night occurs and Robin is seemingly chasing Red X, only to get caught in an X net that Red X projected from his hands. Cyborg attempts to scan for Red X, noting that he's probably invisible, but Red X gets the jump on him. The Titans begin to fight Red X again, but they're more prepared for his tricks. During the fight, Beast Boy nearly gets hit by a train only to get saved by Red X, confusing the team. Red X escapes the team again and does a video call with Slade, presenting a new chip. This is the reveal that Red X is Robin in disguise. The team is still left in the dark about this reveal. Starfire then discovers there is a hologram owned by Robin that shows Robin trapped in the Red X net. She connects the dots and realizes Robin is Red X. Red X meets up with Slade after gathering the third chip. Slade reveals that he always knew that Red X was Robin and in fact set up a trap for him. The Titans break in on the cusp of battle to capture Red X. When Cyborg grabs Red X, Robin reveals that he is Red X and he must continue to pursue Slade. Robin returns to his classic costume to pursue Slade. Robin ends up besting Slade in combat but discovers that it's actually a decoy robot. The whole series of events leads the team to have trust issues and is the last time Robin dons the Red X suit. Robin ends up locking the Red X suit in a vault inside of Titan's Tower. The Red X character makes his first appearance in Season 3, Episode 2 of the show titled X. The Titans are together on the hunt chasing after Criminal. The Criminal is shown to be quite skilled and evasive. The villain is revealed to be Red X. Everyone is shocked as they thought Robin gave up being Red X. The team do battle with Red X, but X is able to evade most of their attacks, and he uses the suit at an advanced level with teleporting, throwing out his own Red X's that have new powers such as electricity, X's that staple to the wall, and X's that cut into the ground. Red X hits on Starfire and thanks Robin for the suit only to teleport away after stealing a scanner. The team is skeptical about who Red X is and thinks that Red X could still be Robin, but he gives his word that he is genuinely not. Robin explains that becoming Red X was his biggest mistake and the closest he was to crossing the line and losing his friends. It's here where it's revealed that someone stole the Red X suit from the vault. Beast Boy creates an infographic explaining who he thinks Red X is. Possible suspects include a clone, evil twin, long lost brother, a bionic monkey infused with Robin's DNA, and Jason Todd. Robin does not particularly care about who Red X is, he just feels responsible for creating him and wants to stop him. Robin reveals that Red X is after Xenothium, as that's what powers the suit. The scanner he stole allows him to find Xenothium. Robin gets in contact with Professor Chang the person who supplied him the Xenothium the first time he was Red X, and Professor Chang reveals a company on the docks that has a generous supply. As Robin relays the information to the others, 
Cyborg is seemingly taken out by Red X. The team meet up again, only to get ambushed by Red X. The team lose a battle on the rooftop to X and pursue him inside a building. The team is mysteriously all taken out by hidden foes except for Robin, and Robin engages Red X in a chase. Red X gets the upper hand on Robin several times throughout their chase. Once Red X reaches the Xenothium, Robin catches up ready to do battle. They fight, Red X brings out more gadgets including Red X ninja stars, circulating Red X saws on his wrist. Red X reveals that his main mission is not to put the city at harm, rather to do things his own way, seeing himself as neither a hero or a villain. Red X and Robin are both easily taken out by Professor Chang's minions, who are the people who really took out the other titans. Professor Chang reveals to Robin that he has the rest of his team kept frozen under ice as hostage and tells him not to pursue. After a bit of time, Red X wakes up from his attack from the minions. Robin locks him up behind the electrical bars and says that X should help him get his friends back. X responds that he doesn't like to play the hero. Robin informs him that he will be back for him later to put him in jail. Professor Chang now has enough Xenothium to power up a cannon powerful enough to disintegrate the entire city. He is suddenly interrupted by Robin. Robin uses the minions weapons against them and is effective at doing so. Chang gets ready to fire the cannon at the titans, then moves his focus to Robin. Just as the titans are about to be destroyed and as Robin falls to his doom, Red X interrupts the cannon and saves Robin. They fight together in sync to take down the rest of the minions. Red X reveals that he has some of the stolen Xanthium, and Robin reveals that he took his utility belt. Red X slams the Xanthium down on the ground to create a smoke screen to evade the team. Red X is then seen running around the sewers and Robin stores the utility belt inside of a small safe inside Titan's tower. Robin is left questioning whether Red X is good, evil, or walks the line. Red X's next appearance is a small cameo in the episode Homecoming Part 2 in the fifth season of the show. At the end of the episode, after getting defeated by the Titans and the Doom Patrol, Brain shows the Brotherhood's new lineup of villains which includes Red X. As others have noted, this is interesting because Professor Chang an adversary of Red X is also included in the lineup. Red X makes his final show appearance in Season 5, Episode 9, titled Revved Up. The episode revolves around a race made by Ding Dong Daddy, in order to retrieve a stolen metal briefcase that belonged to Robin. The team enters to compete with Beast Boy and Cyborg riding in Cyborg's car while Robin is on his motorcycle. Red X is the first additional racer on the scene, driving in his own X-themed motorcycle in similar design to Robin's. Zooming past Cyborg and bumping into Robin right as he's about to grab the briefcase, preventing him from doing so. Red X aims to take the case for himself and sell it to the highest bidder. Other villains learn of the briefcase and enter the race themselves. Red X is curious about the contents of the case, but Robin gets defensive. The two begin to clash further on the road on the way up to a mountain. The fighting picks up in intensity with Red X saying he doesn't want to make things easy for Robin. Robin explains the case only has value to him and it shouldn't matter, but Red X knows a secret of Robin will be worth money. This leads to more villains appearing behind them in their own vehicles on the road. Ding Dong Daddy uses his car to create obstacles such as making the road icy and dropping small ball explosives. Both Robin and Red X navigate it well at first, but one of the explosives hit Red X while he's caught off guard. This totals Red X's bike, but Robin ends up saving him. X asks if the briefcase really means that much to Robin, and he confirms. X then uses his teleportation ability to begin sabotaging all of the other racers trailing him. He manages to take down Kitten, Control Freak, Mad Mod, Dr. Light, Gizmo, and other villains in the race. Gizmo asks Red X, whose side are you on? X replies, mine. Red X's last words in the series is to Raven and Starfire, telling them to tell Robin that they're even. X is the focus of the new Teen Titans short episode from Season 1, Episode 8, 
titled Red X Unmasked. In this short, the team captures Red X and has him tied up. They start to remove the mask to find out who he really is. Beast Boy thinks it's Jason Todd. Upon removing the mask, it actually is Jason Todd, until they remove the mask again and it's Speedy, only for it to be another mask revealing the source, Alfred Pennyworth, Batman, Silky, Larry, then Slade, only to reveal it was a robot the whole time that self-destructs. The real Red X jumps onto the dazed Teen Titans and tells them to keep guessing. Beast Boy says, I still think you're Jason Todd, only for his mouth to get covered up. X makes his final animated appearance in the Teen Titans short episode Mayhem at First Sight, in which Red X was shown to be in jail but gets busted out by Mumbo in order to attend Mumbo's wedding among other villains. Robin gives Mumbo a swift kick and the wedding scene disappears, ending the episode. Red X makes a game appearance in the Flash game One on One, which takes place after his season 3 debut, in which Red X was headed to steal more Xenothium. Robin pursues him on his motorcycle in a high speed highway battle. Red X has enemies working for him here as well, including high speed tanks, armed helicopters, and high speed big wheels. When Robin catches up to X, he is on 5 hoverboards teleporting between them, throwing his signature red X's. The battle is complete once Robin takes out all five of his hoverboards. On top of that, the comic series Teen Titans Go also includes some red X mythos that I'm going to include in the video. Issue number 23 of the series, titled Knock Off, is known as the Return of Red X. The story starts out with the knowledge that the team is aware that Red X has been robbing various locations across the city, but they have no leads on where he is. Suddenly, all of the team members in different locations all see Red X at once. Each of the Titans begins to chase after the Red X that they see. Red X overpowers the Titans except for Robin in their respective locations relatively easily, even using his signature X mouth cover on Raven. X tears a hole into Robin's bike, but he flies up into the air and grabs Red X and catches him with a sticky bomb. Robin comes back to the team to announce he captured Red X, while the Titans talk about their encounter with Red X. Beast Boy comes up with the theory that Red X is actually a group of monkeys trained to steal. The team figures the best way to find out is by removing his mask. They remove the mask only to find that instead of a person, it's a creepy robot. The team is shocked by this reveal. Robin is suspicious. He doesn't think it's the true Red X, as the Red X they all fought didn't even talk, as the real Red X is rather chatty. Robin then gets back into his intensive research phase, like how he got when the real Red X first appeared, while the others began to lay back a bit. Robin presents his findings to the team the next day, and realizes that Red X was a thief, but he mostly was interested in highly expensive items, while the Robo Red X's were only interested in nerdy items. They attend the local Comic Con in order to find Control Freak. The Titans track down Control Freak, where he reveals he used the likeness of Red X for his robot henchmen because they make such cool action figures. Control Freak presses a button on his remote to summon 8 Red X robots ready to fight the Titans. The Titans are informed to hold back due to being in a civilian area. Raven evacuates the civilians while the other Titans do battle with the Red X minions. Robin even beheads one of the robots. The team continues smashing on all the robots by Starfire dismembering parts to beat others, Robin destroying two with a split kick, and Cyborg pulling off a triple kill shot with Beast Boy as an armadillo. With all the Red X robots defeated, Control Freak is powerless against the Titans and is returned to the state penitentiary. The last mention of Red X in the Teen Titans universe is in Teen Titans Go number 41, Girl Trouble. Robin is on another case looking for a group of new female villains. Among them is a new villain called Pink X. Raven also mentions that Beast Boy and Cyborg are out of town helping the Titans East. The Titans encounter various female villains that all claim to be the daughters of other villains. Robin comes face to face with Pink X. Pink X finds Robin attractive and claims to be the daughter of Red X. 
Robin finds some clues from the battle and has a hunch on who she really is based on the battle. Robin deduces that the one known as Pink X is Kitten, the daughter of Killer Moth. The team informs Killer Moth and he is completely unaware and is enraged at the fact that she was keeping secrets from him. It is confirmed that it's her when they find the X mask on her bed. The team and Killer Moth confront Kitten, who at the time was posing as Daughter Blood, and it turns out that Kitten pretended to be all the villains that appeared as daughters of other villains in order to make her father jealous. They agree to stop the attacks and sort things out later. The Titans are happy they don't have a horde of new villains on their hands. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap up my complete history of Red X and the Teen Titans Universe video. Uh, this video took a lot of time to make, so if you could just show some love to the video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it guys. Also, if you have any other video requests for the future for me to do, please leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.